Nintendo's even heard, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Today, we are hopping back into another level and I think this might be the final level or I guess like main area to explore. We can actually take a quick look at the map and we can see a couple of different things if we go to our totals. We've gone through quite a lot of them. You can see there's enough space for one more level. So that's what we're gonna be going to in today's episode. It should be Pianta Village. I don't quite know how to get up there from here though. I might have to actually go back and get the, the one nozzle that makes us jump up really high in the air, the rocket nozzle. Let's take a look. Because this is the red one. Is that what we need? I think so. Yeah, awesome. So what we're gonna do with this, as far as I can tell, is go over this way and we'll be hopping up to the back over there. So let's see if that works. Oh no, I didn't charge it up all the way. Ready? There we go, but that was the wrong direction. But you get the idea, I just need to do that a little bit. I guess we can get onto the roof here. And then, oh, come on. We made it, that's pretty nice. You might have seen way up there, there's another red pipe. And that's exactly what we're trying to get to at the moment. So we'll hop up here for now. Get ready and go for it. And we're at the Tivity Top, where we have another mysterious red pipe that happened to you. But what a, what a view we get from here. You can see that there's still a lot to do, a lot to focus on here in Delfino Square, which I think is next episode. We'll be exploring this area more and getting all the shines within. But for right now, our last main level, Piganta Village. Episode one, Chain Chomplets Unchained. Let's go for it. See so yeah, as you can see, oh wow. It is quite the village indeed, but there are some chain chomplets running around and they're on fire. I don't think we've ever seen chain chomplets in a Mario game before or after this, now that I'm thinking about it. I can't think of any other game that these guys are in, but hello. What's going on here? Hey mister, think you could spare us a hand here? This dear lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage. No, not the bees, they seem to be acting normal. Are there bees too? Oh my gosh, chain chomplets and bees. Oh my goodness, this is awful, completely awful. My little darlings have nasty fevers and it's driving them mad. Normally I grab their tails and spike them into the ground. Uh, but they're too hot to touch now. Oh, it burns me up. Hey, okay, don't take it out on me, lady. I feel like maybe that's why they're so upset is that those doesn't seem like a good way to discipline them. Gramps is just so slow. He left for the spring ages ago and he hasn't returned. Not that it's weird, he pretty much does that every night. Where's the spring? The center of the village, base of the big tree. So I wonder, maybe we're supposed to bring them to the to the uh, the spring? Pull them off there? Seems like someone is locking proper training. Uh, I guess these guys are. Uh, can I grab the back of them? I can, but I think I was supposed to hold it. Here we go, here we go. Uh, there is a, a spring right here, and they're in! Okay, pretty cool. So that's one of them done. I did see another one over this way. Pretty obviously, it's not hard to find them. Gotcha. So if I could just turn around real quick. It takes a moment. We can just aim it up and... Oh, we got it in there. So there's one more coming up. I might just wait for them to come to me. That seems like the better idea here. They are blistering hot. Here we go, here we go. Not gonna like that very much, but we can just grab you and launch you. And there we go, remember always be kind to your pets. I agree, they're sort of cooling off a little bit and that was it, okay, that was actually a super easy one. Get us started here Started here in Pianta Village. But, I did wanna to talk to you, are you, the, are you the Gramps? Hello Gramps, how are you enjoying the spring? Ah, so comfy, so nice, so relaxing, this is cool. This spring always hits the spot, it's completely refreshing. No better place to cool down than right here, yep. So if we needed any more hints on what we're supposed to do there, which luckily we didn't. Whoa, I missed it, hold on. There we go. So our first shine of Pianta Village collected. Awesome, so definitely a fun first impression of this area. So let's see, with that done Delfino Plaza, we're back up here. Do we just, hopefully we're back up there so we don't have to climb all the way up again because that would be a pain. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. So it shouldn't be too much of a big deal just to jump up and hop right back in. It is interesting how the camera pans to the Noki Bay, even though we've already completed that. Pianta Village, episode two, Il Piantissimo's Crazy Climb. Yeah, let's try this one out. 
So I guess Il Piantissimo is back. We have another race with him. And he's chuckling to himself already, but now we get to see the whole area in daytime. The last episode was nighttime, so. Looks a little bit different. Obviously, it's still the same area. It's me, Il Piantissimo. And now, listen. See that flag over there? I do. Whoa, okay, that's way up there. That is super far away. Now you and I shall race to get there the fastest. Yes, my personal record is 30 seconds. Impressive, eh? That actually is pretty good. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Okay, so this one might be the most difficult yet, so I wanna definitely use this to try to get a little bit farther. Maybe I could triple jump up to something like this. Come on, come on, Mario, you can do it, you can do it. I don't know if that's actually faster at all. I'm not super familiar with this area just yet, but oh, he's beating me a little bit. Uh, come on. No, hey, hey, he bumped into me, that's not fair. Oh no, so he might get me here. Ah, uh, it looks like it. So yeah, he just barely beat me out. Can we try again? You are nothing but a rank amateur. You are like a fat snail. Come now, dig down and show me what you have, Mustachio. I'll be waiting when you're ready to try again. Until then, do we lose a life for that? I can't believe that, that's crazy. And it knocks us up to the beginning, right? That is really brutal. So I guess we got to see what it's like to lose one of those races because we've won it first time every time so far, but we really gotta move it down there if we want to actually beat them. So let's try again. Okay, so I'm in the lead at the moment. So I think that if I could just keep running, I should just be able to stay in front of them. All I had to do was not do any kind of crazy triple jump, but just run around. And there we go. So that really wasn't too bad. Just had to really know the direct path to it. So there we have it. Grr. Yes, grr. That was not so bad. You are quick, yes. I suppose maybe I underestimated you a small bit. Perhaps. You try again after you have practiced more. Until then, I guess we get a shine for our troubles, and then I'll be right here. I do want to talk to him again, see what else he has to say, if anything. That is all I have to say to you. Now be off. And then, love. Nice job, wow, you must be tired. I definitely am. But don't worry, it was a good exercise, and that will be our second shine of Kianta Village. So, so far, really, not too bad with timing. Let's save and continue from there, and find out what shine number three is going to be. Yeah, it still points the camera to this area, even though we fully completed it. I don't know what that really means for what we're supposed to do next after we complete this area, but I guess we'll figure it out over time. For right now, I wanna hop right back in and see what else is going on. So, episode three of Pianta Village, the Goopy Inferno. Sounds like a fun name, but might mean a difficult level and immediately Flood is being stolen from us. Huh, usually we have to enter something or something similar, but wow. That is a goopy inferno. And that's a golden mushroom. Oh, I saw a flood on the floor over there. How are we getting to that? Okay, this is interesting. So we're out on the main level with no flood at all. So hopefully we can talk to some people and get some context and what in the world we're supposed to do here. Can you guys leave me alone? Ah, Mario, what a mess. What can we do? I'm not sure. How terrible, the village is covered in burning goop. Pardon me? No, my darlings are not responsible. <laughs> Never would have suggested it. Uh, hello. I hope everything's going to be okay. It's really tough being mayor, don't you think? Where is the mayor? Maybe the mayor was on the top of the golden mushroom. The mayor got left behind somewhere over there. Do something useful. Ouch, <laughs> why? Well, how would that be useful? Okay, so we have to find a way over there. I'm hoping that talking to more Piantas will give us a clear idea. It's too hot, I can't get any closer. The mayor was making sure everyone was evacuated safely. He was up there giving instructions, what a hero. See, he's up there on top of the golden mushrooms. So we need to find our own way up there without flood. There are so many people to talk to. Now this is a sticky situation if I've ever seen one, oh boy. Thanks to the mayor, everyone was evacuated safely. Now the only one left is the mayor himself, how brave. We'll talk to a few more, but I don't want to spend too much time because there are piantas everywhere. I hope the mayor is still okay, especially since they're not adding too much. So how are we approaching this, you know? Um, 
because I could maybe make that jump or something. But let's take a look around the perimeter. Whoa, what is this? Wait, can we go under? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, hold on. Wrong button. How do I? There we go. I made it, I made it. And of course, there's one of these jerks over here and I immediately fell. I don't know if I can do too much down there without flood then, because that was a pretty big jump. Oh boy. So there's definitely something to figure out there. See, let's approach it from this side where there are plenty other villagers running around. So there might be something I can draw my attention to, like this poor guy who's on fire. I wish I could help, but not really much I could do without flood, right? There is some water over here. Maybe I could, oh, maybe I could swim my way through. <laughs> these, these guys got some music playing for us. Gotta go against the current a little bit and avoid that blue coin. But perhaps this is where I could do something. Uh, ow, oh, oh, that hurt. But I actually, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I guess just by jumping out of the water, I'm sort of spraying some of the water around. And I got this tree to grow. I can't do too much with it, but it's there. Huh. I don't know if that's a, whoa, strategy I should rely on consistently, but yeah, I guess I could. That's so interesting. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. Is that a glitch where Mario is just in the water like that and he can, whoa, okay. I don't know how much more I could do that for, but I've only lost a little bit of health. So if I could, ah, ow, that hurt. Oh no, 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 okay, this is not the way I thought it would. I thought I could maybe cheat that a little bit, right? Oh no, and these guys are falling on me too? That's really not good. Uh, so that is not how I do that, that is for sure. But that still could be a strategy I could use somehow, right? I hope the goop isn't coming back. Hmm. But I don't think I could get it any farther than that. Very unfortunate, but I don't see, oh, not that. Oh man, I might end up dying here, which if that's the case, it's fine. Hey, what if I spin jump? I'm spin spinning some water around, but it it's, it's not a workable amount. There must be another way around. But it just doesn't seem like there's much, you know? Let's try some more of that water spraying stuff. Once again, I can't imagine this is what we're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Okay, out of the way. These guys are never fun to deal with. They really haven't been around for a while. Now they're back again. Okay, let's see. Can I just jump and jump? No, I can't. Uh, There we go. So now I'm up here. But what can I do from here, you know? I guess there are some complicated jumps we could sort of make. Maybe I could hop on this box, spin jump, and land straight in the lava. Darn. This is something else, isn't it? Maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Okay, so what about this way? Could I perhaps stand on this? This is all kinds of risky, but I guess I can. And then jump up to this. And where can I go from here? Whoa, nice view. But this is sort of bringing me farther away from what I'm trying to get to. If I could just get the flood, that'd be great. Oh, there is one Pianto over here. Hello. I can't talk to you, it seems. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Hmm. If I could just find an easier way over. I could try under, but I just don't know if that would work. There are some more people over here. We got a janitor. Hello. Even places like this need to be clean so there's travel safe. I agree, but <laughs> right now it is not travel safe regardless. Okay, there's a coin. So if we do take some damage, which I guess I've already taken some, and grab some of this stuff. But how can I get the flood, you know? I just don't see a way over. Because I was right over there before. And it looks like I was just at the end of my rope regardless. How would I have gone from there to anywhere else? Maybe I could, I don't see that happening, but could I get this swing to move at all without flood? 
I don't think so, is the thing. There really must be something I'm missing with all this. Because if not, I just, I honestly have no clue how we're getting around. No, no, be careful. Like maybe I could land on the edge of that platform. Oh no, I don't think I can. You see now I'm stuck in the corner and I'm gonna lose all my health. And that's gonna be another life gone too. And lives aren't very generous in this game, so. I really need to figure out what to do here. This one is the weirdest shine yet for just sort of dropping you in there and not really explaining how you go about it. Okay, so I've been looking around and I really can't find too much. So I figure we're going to go back to the underbelly of the village and see what we can do around here. There's gotta be something. Look at all the different contraptions and paths we have to go. I gotta be able to do something. So we'll explore around here a little bit. If not anything else, I'll know the area a bit better. Okay, I guess I just hit this and it moves. That's interesting. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. See you, Mario. Jeez, this is brutal. Okay, so here we go again. Gotta dodge this evil spider guy. So far, not too bad. And this will bring me to some other area. Is this the right area to go? I have no clue. But I guess this is sort of what we have to do is we have to go down each one of these and just sort of try to find out. Was it where I was supposed to go? And so far the answer looks like a big fat no. Okay, so I could try to explore around. The oh, look at this, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, 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 not on the fire. Come on, Mario, please, please, please. That's not fair. This is not fair. Okay, th this is super duper not fair. Come on, the controls have been very, very not so generous. Come on, Mario, I know. If I could just get him to, uh, not another one, okay? Whoa, okay, I'm doing something, I'm doing something. So from up here, if I could just do, wait, Mario, no, wait, ah, <laughs> come on. I wanted to do the spin jump, but he did the side jump because there's like three inches you can move. Oh man, this is the toughest level yet. But I think we figured something out. If I could do that, but just a lot less sloppy this time, we might actually be able to do it. Okay, that's not exactly what I meant to do, but if this works, it works. So I'm down here now. Those guys are trying to get me. I think we could still do something with this. Oh no, Mario. The wall jumping isn't very reliable, of course, so. Okay, I'm up here now. And if I could just, oh, oh. We made it, we made it. Where are we going now though, is the question. Um, I think this way? Yeah, this, oh, there's Flood. Come on, we're gonna be saved. Come on, got it? And our good old buddy, it's so great to see ya. So I guess now we just want to, yeah, do a little spin jump somewhere. If I could do it right there. We made it! Okay, so let's save you. Get all that goop off you, Mr. Mayor. How you doing? Ooh, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. And there we go. Wow, what a treacherous shine to get. Let's grab it before any kind of other crazy shenanigans happen. That was wonderful that we got it done, but man, was it exhausting. So let's see if we continue from there. And that'll be 70 shines. So quite an accomplishment so far. We still have plenty more left to go. Even in today's episode, that was only the third shine. So of course we still have five more main shines, two secrets, a hundred coin shine. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. So let's just not dilly dally too much. Head right back into it and see what's, no, no, no. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I'll get back up there in a minute. Okay, so for real this time, episode four of Pianta Village, Chain Chomps back. So we saw the chain chomplets before. I guess, you know, we got the big chain chomp now. Oh my goodness, it's just as furious as ever. It is steaming. And I guess we have to send it to the bathtub. All right, so let's go and figure that out then. We're going to have a little, more of those little wind things attack us. I guess not this time. Hello. Hey you, we've got another problem over here. This thing's bigger than all those pups put together. When it's chained up, there's no problem, of course, but when that thing's loose, we're in a heap of trouble, and oh yes, that beast owner always has burnt hands, it's pitiful. 
Okay, we'll definitely have to go do something about that. Beyond the hot spring open, refresh body and spirit with a dip. Okay, so we'll do what we can about this. It looks like you are not having a good time. I'm the one who should be steamed. Bad chain chomp. Maybe I should head over to the hot spring to calm myself. Okay, so obviously they want us to do the same thing. What if I threw one of these? Can I do that? There we go. That worked pretty well. And I think I'm just supposed to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh... So do I just drag this somewhere? What's the deal? Well, they do not seem to like bathing. See, I guess I'll try to bring you over to the hot spring, which I believe was over this way, right? This is quite the heavy load for Mario. Oh man. Oh no, watch it, watch it. They seem to go mad when, with rage when they overheat. Okay, so now it's gonna start moving around, right? So what might be better, if I wanna play this smart, cause dragging it over obviously, it, it sort of works, but it sort of doesn't. Let's let it, it do the heavy lifting. It's gonna jump around. <laughs> you can see people holding the signs telling us where to go. Seems pretty simple, right? But which way is it going to end up going? Okay, over there. That's actually perfect. If it stays continually that way, what we can do is we can cut it off and maybe wait until it's, oh yeah, right there. Can you just stay right there for me? Thank you. And then I'll grab this. Oh, you're pushing me, you're pushing me. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I know, I know. They seem to be avoiding me. Excuse me? How rude. Hold on, come on, come on. Uh, uh Get back here, get back here right now. Come on, mister. Get in this pool, get in this pool. Oh, come on, we did it! Well, okay, there we go. So that seems to be the ultimate strategies. Whoa, it's golden now. Is to definitely, uh, wait with the barrel until it's very close to it and then just drag it in. So there we go, from a really challenging shine to a super quick and easy one. That seems to be the case so far with these. They've either been really quick or really, really time consuming. But there we go, we get shine 71. And, we are back here in Delfino Plaza. Of course, it still wants me to do something. I don't understand what it wants me to do there because we've done everything there. But we have Shine 5 next. Can I hop back in? No, Mario. Why is this suddenly so difficult for me? I have no clue. Let's hop into the pipe. You'd think it's his job to hop in pipes. It'd be a little bit easier for him, but no. So, Pianta Village, Episode 5, Secret of the Village Underside. So we have to go under the village this time. And oh, there's a little Yoshi egg. So I guess we'll have to use that to go underside the village and find a secret down here somewhere. Okay, well, let's go for it. Let's first get the Yoshi egg, which is right up here. Here come all these wind guys again. It wants some kind of melon. Howdy there, son. The entire village is getting ready for the annual fluff festival. Even us old folks will start getting excited about this. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I am not the mayor. If you're looking for him, he's probably by that yellow mushroom. Okay. See, we saw that yellow mushroom before. He's still way up there. So where can we find a melon like that? Maybe up on one of the palm trees, I would guess? Because it looks like a coconut or some kind of melon. Hmm. Not quite seeing it from here, so. Yeah, we'll just have to figure it out from somewhere. I mean, there was a little fruit tree, yeah, off that way, so maybe that'll be what I'm looking for. Everybody's having a great time so far, though. There we go. And right up here, I think this is the one we're looking for. Okay, so I got our melon. Don't fall down here. Yeah, okay, that wouldn't have been good. Bring this back to Yoshi, and then we have to figure out where exactly we're getting with him. Because it's the underside, of course, but where in the underside, I guess, is the question. But for right now, here you go, buddy. We got ourselves a pink Yoshi with the super long tongue. And I think going back here would be the best bet, right? These wing guys don't take me out. That would be bad. Oh, lots of coins here, though. Whoa, okay, that's a super bouncy one. Okay, I'm here now. So this might be a good candidate for 100 coins with all these coins falling around. Oh, and a one-up, which honestly, at that angle, is it worth it? Probably not, I know I lost a lot of lives. There are one-ups everywhere. Whoa, okay. Good to know. I don't think we can do much climbing with Yoshi, though. So I think we're gonna stick to all this. Oh yeah, you see that little squiggly bit there? That's usually 
where Yoshi can spray things, so let's give it a try. It worked! So I guess we go inside. You know, before we do, if I have an extra one up I can grab, definitely make the most of it. And we're going down. Here we go! So once again, Flood is gonna get stolen from us. And it's another secret obstacle course. So let's see how crazy this one is. I feel like I sort of remember this one. Oh no. Please don't tell me it is what I think it is. Uh oh. Howdy, I'm a Chuckster. You'd better be careful when speaking to powerful Pigantas. Some will chuck you straight up, but most chuck you backwards. When it comes to tossing, okay, I didn't even get to read it, but yeah, they just sort of toss you. And that's sort of the scary part, is that you don't know who's gonna toss you where. I'm a Chuckster. Okay, yes you are. Please don't fall me off the edge. Okay, uh, I don't know how I get to this. I guess maybe one of these Chucksters can chuck me up there, but I'll talk to you. I'm a Chuckster. All right, Chucksters. Let's go for the little one. Hey there, little Chuckster. I may be little, but I never give up. Awesome, no, hey! Okay, should've went with the big guy. He had a backdrop being behind his sort of throwing path. So this is where it becomes a little scary. This is a pure guessing game in some ways. Obviously, you can make some educated guesses, but overall, this is a guessing game. So we need to figure out which Chucksters are going to throw us where we're supposed to be. So for right now, we know the pink one is gonna get the job done for us. Yep, thank you. And of course, with them moving up and down, that also changes the directory in which we could actually land. So let's try this one. Don't hold back, Bruh. Oh, my angle was off. Oh no, but the sign saved me. So that is a huge thing to keep in mind, is the angle at which we're talking to them will matter a lot. Higher, higher! So this one throws us more or less straight up into the air and then way back down. Uh, hello. I'm a juxter, that angle is so bad. So that's gonna send me flying to the edge again. Uh, but we got farther, we got a lot farther that time. So I think that's what a lot of this is gonna be, dying over and over again until we finally figure out how in the world to get farther. Okay, come on. I think that's a straight shot. It is. Okay, so where are we going at this point? It looks like there's some guys over there. But there's also some, there's there's just a sun, the, the shine here. So why would I go that way, I wonder? I don't know, but I hope this isn't some awful trick is the thing. Um, I think that maybe we just wanna wait for him to waddle over. He's sure, surely taking his time. Uh, do you mind if it's, yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. And I guess just have him throw us straight over this would be perfect. That's where things get very stressful though, don't they? He's coming over, he just, <laughs> he takes his time. As you can see, I was at 20 lives, like 24 lives earlier in today's episode, I'm down to nine. It has been very worse for wear as of late, huh? Okay, here's our chance. So, just wanna walk up and talk to him and hope that that was good. Oh no, come on, come on. Yes, yes we did it! Oh man, I can't believe it. If there are red coins there, I'm going to lose my mind. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy. So there we go, 72 shines. Man, oh man, we are definitely getting to the tougher levels of the game. No full one. But with that done, we are going to hop right back into it. I'll have to grind up some extra lives later at some point, but I think we're doing episode six now. Yep, episode six, Pianta's in need. I am in need of a breather, personally. <laughs> but I guess we'll see what ends up happening here. Oh no! They're drowning, we definitely have to help them. Okay, never mind my needs. Let's help them out. Oh no, I just went away for a bit and now look! I can't believe it, another fine mess and it's a doozy. Some of the villagers are trapped in that burning ooze. And I just finished evacuating everyone a little while back. What in the world's happening? I think I may just start crying. I'm sorry to trouble you time after time, but please, could you find time to help us out again? 10 villagers are trapped in the slime, you must hurry. Okay, let's go for it. So we only have three minutes in total to save all the Piantas. So let's go for it. 
Our first one is over here, so we'll just go ahead and spray it and save you. And I guess I have to spray you off too, so that's one saved. And we don't have the time to chat with you guys, unfortunately, so go ahead and spray you off like this. Gotcha. And then there's two in here, so I'm trying to deal with how however much I can. And then over there, I gotta get you. So let's maybe reposition a little bit. Come on, come on, gotcha. And what's next? There's one right over this way. Ooh, come on. So there we go, about halfway through and we even haven't used up half of our time. So that's always good to see. Gives another Pianta the save. Come on, come on, gotcha. And it looks like there's a couple who need our help over this way. So, we're at six out of 10. Spray you guys. Got it. I think there was one over this way. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Mario. So this will be eight out of 10. Excellent. And it looks like nine, nine out of 10 is waiting for us right over here. So where's the last one? Wait, do I, do I, do I actually have you? Because you look like you're still covered in goop. Oh no, I think that's just the, the coloring. Um, Everybody here is just having a party. They don't even care. Where's the last one? It's gotta be around here somewhere. And perhaps over here? Okay, I'm starting to panic a little because I just don't know where this last one is. We only have 54 seconds to find it. Just trying to get to my vantage points to see. I have no clue. Come on, come on. We're running out of time here. I might just have to accept that we're gonna run out of time and just try my best to find it, you know? I am not seeing it any, oh, over there, over there, over there, okay. Gosh, the music sort of led me off the trail, I guess. Come on, come on, we don't have too much time or too much water left. Come on. We got ya, all right, so everybody should be saved with 12.82 seconds to spare. Now what? I guess I have to go talk to the mayor again? I guess so. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I saved all of your townsfolk. Yeah, I don't see what else to do. Usually once we get an objective done like that, it just immediately spits out the shine, but. Hello, there you go. You're the savior of Pianta Village. We're in your debt. As a reward, please take this. All right, so there we go, another shine. That's really how this area works. We get easy shines and then very, very difficult shines. There's no in between. So that is episode six done. Yeah, he indeed. We'll save and continue with that one. And we'll see what's next for us. All right, so we've seen this a million times. We want to just head right back into that pipe. And, oh boy. I think we're doing Shine episode seven, right? Pianta Village episode seven, Shadow Mario Runs Wild. So hopefully chasing down Shadow Mario won't be too big of a deal. There he is, causing trouble like normal, right? Okay, let's go for it then. See, the music doesn't quite play until we're a little bit closer. Where'd he go? Come on, buddy. Oh, he's actually making a trail of flaming goop this time too, so. Oh my, and it hurts. Get back here. It makes the little Shadow Mario symbol too, that's fancy. Oh wow, that was really quick. Ah, I'll remember this. I don't know if I will, that went by too fast to remember. <laughs> okay, so there we go, super duper quick Shadow Mario battle. That might be one of the fastest ones we've ever done. Hey, I'm not complaining. So with Shine 7 done, we can save and continue, and that means we have one last main shine to do in this area, how exciting. Whoa, wait a minute. What's happening up here? Shadow Mario's back. What is he doing? 
uh, he's going into that cave back there. I don't think that was open before. Whoa, the whole place is flooded. What in the world? Oh man. What do we do about this? Maybe we could talk to somebody about it? I wanna see what they have to say if they're... Oh no, if I get the chance. Maybe I should just try to get onto that boat. Come on, there you go. The boats are still running, even in these conditions, amazing. I thought these are the best conditions for the boat. When everything's covered in water. Okay, see, so let's just try to get over there as much as we can. So I think what's currently happening is something we have to follow through with. We have to follow Shadow Mario into here, but this is actually gonna lead to the last level of the game, which we won't be doing right now in today's episode. Do I just chase you in? Yeah, I do. So in this big mysterious cave, oh man, Corona Mountain. Now this might just be a little teaser of what we're doing in an upcoming episode, because I am not doing this right now, that is for sure. We can just pause the game and exit the area, but we'll have to head into that later to complete the game. For right now, I need to make my way all the way back up there with the hover nozzle or the rocket nozzle, so I gotta go grab it. <laughs> okay, so one last shine, or at least main shine to get here. It should be episode eight, Fluff Festival Coin Hunt. Huh. So I guess I'll have to see what this is about. Whoa, there's so many of them. So we got this giant festival going on, where I guess we have to find some coins. I'm guessing red coins, but I guess we'll see. This is interesting. See, let's go for it. We'll take a look around and see what's going on. Beyond the Hot Spring is still open, good to know. So look at everybody having a great party. I think I saw some red things here and there in the village. So I guess we're trying to find red coins. How do we get started with everything? Uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I would be talking to all these people. At festival time, we really look loose, believe you me. This is so cool and I'm glad to experience it a little bit here, but like I said, are the red coins just going to be out and about? Yeah, okay, I see one way out there. So honestly, that's a bit relaxing, right? We don't have to actually abide by a timer or anything, which is usually how the red coins have been lately. So I can just sort of relaxedly explore the, the village and try to find all of the red coins. So we have our first one right there. And I'm guessing that means we should definitely poke around under the village and see if we can't find any around here. Which so far, I'm not seeing any. So maybe this will be a bad choice, but I'll look around a little bit. We'll see if we can't find any. There has to be something, right? Whoa, I did not mean to press that. Okay, go back, go back. I'll try to get across to so this one. And now from here, I might have a little bit more of a vantage point just to see some extra stuff. Oh, yeah, there's one right up there. So what's my best way around to that is the question. Can I climb onto this? Yes, I can. Then I can get up here, no problem. Uh-oh, can I tightrope this? No, I can't. That was that was a trap. I thought I could. Come on, let's just get back up there. And then I might just be, if Mario could jump, I pressed the jump button and Mario just didn't jump. That was silly. Hmm. Okay, come on. I am starting to run out of water a little bit too. I do need to be careful. This could get really bad really fast if we're not careful. Okay, hold on. Go back down to this. Go across. Go all the way back up. And I just need to jump and then hover. And that'll get us to this red coin. No problem. So that's coin two out of eight. There is clearly still a lot more to do somewhere. But I don't know if there's any more around here. That really does look like it so far. So I think I'll leave the rest of this lower area for some other time. And if I could grab onto this and go up here, aha. Now I can explore more of the upside of the town, get some water back too would be great. There's no water here, run dry. Why is that? I guess I might be experiencing a drought, it's drought season or something. Or maybe it goes all into the hot spring. Speaking of which, look at this, we have a red coin waiting for us. Let's just dive down and grab it then. There we go, coin number three. So that's good. 
Oh, and there's another one by the fruit. Okay, so I will happily grab that. So we're just finding a good chunk of them simply by exploring. Wait, did I just, I did. I see one right over here in the tall grass. Hopefully no Pokemon or anything. Boom, five out of eight. So now might be a good time to really look around and try to figure out where the other ones are. But five out of eight's a good number. We probably want to climb up each palm tree as well, just to get a good idea. We already got one from one of them, you know? So, oh boy, don't fall down at that. Because you can walk on each leaf individually because of how big the leaves are. There are some blue coins as well, but I don't have as much of an interest in collecting them at the moment. I did notice all these pollens as well. I don't know if we can ride those. I know that's a thing in Mario Galaxy. Hmm. Oh, I do see one way up there over Mario's head. That'll be the sixth one. But there's gotta be more on the way. Oh my, this might have been a risky place to jump, right? Oh, I made it onto the golden mushroom and off the golden mushroom. Cool. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Just trying to look around and see what else we can find, because there's gotta be more, right? That was maybe my chance to try to grab onto that dandelion, but I missed it, no worries. This guy's having a good time. He was the guy who was on fire before. Sorry, I never saved you. Looks like he made it out, okay. We are slowly getting up to the top of this tree. I guess I have to make my way onto the swing, which I haven't messed with the swing too much while also having flood. So as you can see, whoa, you get some major, major height on this thing. Maybe a little too much height? Because all I need is to get over here and then to get this rocket nozzle. Oh man. It does give us a water refill. I guess we'll be saving and continuing with that. It seems weird to save right at this moment. It's not like we'll restart here if we reload the game. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I do see a big pile of boxes down there. That does make me curious. I wonder if if I could do something with that. Can I make it up there with this or no? It doesn't look like it. Darn, um, there has to be a way. Hold on. Jump, release, but I'm still not quite getting high enough. Oh, come on. Oh, that was just silly. Okay, now I'm falling all the way down. See, let's check out these boxes because they look like they could be holding something, right? I gotta be careful, could be a blue coin. I wouldn't want that. Not right now. Hmm. I'm breaking two of them at once, it's pretty productive. And there we go, so that's red coin number six. So we're looking for the one at the very tippity top, and there should be one more somewhere else. Oh, hey, here we go. I was about to just try to start climbing this tree, and look what I found. Oh, the bees aren't gonna like that, but I did snag the second to last red coin. So we know where the last one is, it's just a matter of actually getting up there in one piece. And I just didn't get much luck that time, so we'll try again, and maybe this time will be a bit better. I wonder if I can reach the clouds there. Hold on, let's try that again. Yeah, whoa, whoa, we're on the clouds! How cool is this? And now I'm on the clouds again. There we go! Wow, that was amazing. There's a bunch of coins up here too. So I should be able just to jump up and oh no, oh no, got it. Would you look at that? So it's way over there. It's on some more clouds. So yeah, off in the distance that way. So how are we doing that one? Can we grab onto these pollen pieces? Oh, the wind takes it away. So let's hope some more show up that I can actually like reach. Oh, here we go, there's one right above. Come on, slower, a little bit. Can I grab it? Hold on, oh gosh. I'm trying to do a side jump, or that. Why are the controls so silly sometimes? I was, I don't know if I can do a side jump when I have the rocket jump. No, I can, the game just was refusing to let me do it. Okay, come on, one more will fall down. You can see the shadow of it. All I have to do is actually hop onto it. There we go. Okay, now take me through the wind. And I'll get the rocket nozzle just in case. We'll hold on tight. Come on, we're doing it, we're doing it. And jump for it. I think we'll make it. Yes, we will. 
Hold on. There it is. We got the final episodic shine of the Yanta Village. By far the most difficult area yet. I'm so glad to complete it. Save and continue. So that was definitely an experience. And now we have 70 shines or 75 shines in total. Pretty cool. So with that done, we're still not quite wrapped up for today's episode. We have quite a lot of work ahead of us because shine number nine, technically our secret shine, um, is going to be back in this pipe. So let's go for it. So for this one, what do we have to do at the Fluff Festival? Not quite. We're gonna be going to the fifth shine, the secret of the village underside. And we have to get some red coins here. So that's not gonna be so easy with the, the launchers and everything, but I'll try it. We'll see how it goes. So here we are again. Oh, I'm dreading this one. So I don't know exactly what it's gonna be. I'm guessing it's gonna be five or eight red coins. And that's exactly what I see. So this is where things get challenging, right? How am I going to get to do this? I, I think the one thing we should do before we get started is there's going to be a one up right here. So if I can get the guy to launch me into it, that'd be great. <laughs> It might be a bit challenging for him to even do that, which is really saying something. If I'm supposed to get him to launch me into red coins, if that's gonna be the idea here, I'm certainly scared. But I wonder, can I start spraying? No, I can't. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can start just spraying from here. Can I get it this way? Okay, so I got it that way. But uh, I can't spray while I'm in the air. So this is where things are just going to get difficult. Click the eight red coins, we'll do. So the first one is right over the head, that guy, and then there's one up there, one up there. So there's a good couple of places. So let's go for it. I'll grab this one right away. I don't even have to get him, so that's cool. If I can skip some of the chucksters, you better believe I'm gonna skip the chucksters. So, whoa, 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 I was not expecting a triple jump from that. And then I'm just going to jump. Go, 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 go. I hope I make it. I do make it. So this is where things get scary again because this lineup can be difficult. I think about here's good enough. Higher, higher. Oh man. See, there's two of them to get here. I need to maybe do a spin jump or something. There we go. And we got that as well. Oh gosh, they go right through this guy. Come on, I, I, no, that's not gonna be good. I wish I could cancel it. I wish I could cancel it because it's gonna throw me right off the side. But hey, we found half of them in the first go. That's pretty huge. And I found an easy way to get that one up. So I should be able to preserve the lives I have if I keep doing that each time. So let me do that again real quick and we'll get back over there. Okay, I think that's good enough. We're about to find out. There we go. What's crazy is I just don't have too much time left over, but there's five and six. And I guess, oh, over that way. Okay, so yeah, instead of doing all that, I guess I'll just head over here. All right, if this works, it works. I don't have a ton of time left. I didn't even know there was stuff over here. There we go, seven, and I'll pull you guys off in just a moment. For right now though, my eyes are set right there. Okay, we did it, I can't believe it. Wow, okay, so don't follow our doom. And I just need to... Hope that that's enough. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Die for it. There we go. Whew. So I actually might not need to. There we go. Oh my goodness. Flood is such a lifesaver in this area. Okay, that was actually easier than the original try. How cool is that? So our first secret shine of this area completed, no problem. Oh man. Okay, there were some problems. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> not trying to brag or gloat or anything, but I was expecting that to be significantly more of a challenge. So I'm glad we got through it pretty quickly in only a couple of tries. And that means there are two more shines left to trouble ourselves with in this area. And the first one is going to be another secret shine. And this one's actually really weird, but let's go in, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be secret shine number two in the eighth episode. And this one's bizarre. I don't really know how anyone's supposed to know about this one, but you'll see in a moment what I mean. So to get the secret shine, we don't go into another secret level or anything, because I don't think there are any. But instead, we just have this very, very hidden shine. So obviously with it being a secret shine, that's sort of to be expected, but this is to a ridiculous degree, if you ask me. So we want to try to find a way up onto that, uh, that big tree again. So I'm not sure what the best way to go about that is 
right now. But if I could just get up here. Got it. I do need to find the rocket nozzle. Oh, did I pass it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. We do need that just to get up a little bit higher, I think. Just as we did before. We're just trying to get to the very tippity top. So I think I'll go on to this thing again, because that worked out pretty well before. Just spraying like this, getting light up, jumping under the cloud, and then jumping up to the next one, and then jumping onto the leaf. Excellent. So obviously this red coin is ready and waiting for us, but that's not quite what we're doing. You might actually, oh, okay. Well, now I just feel embarrassed. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get all the way back up there. Okay, so once again, you can see we're standing on a shine. You might even think, can I spray the shine? Will that give me anything? No, what you're supposed to do is look up to the sun and spray the sun, and that'll get you a shine. I don't know how anyone was supposed to know that, but there we go, we got it. The secret shine number two from Pianta Village, a really, really sneaky one. Yahoo! Okay, so with that done, we can save and continue. And we have one more thing left to do in today's episode. It'll be one, the 100 coin shine for Pianta Village. I'm sure compared to everything else, it's still gonna be quite a challenge just getting around this area, but we've spent a lot of time in it today. So I'm hoping that will really clear things up. And we're going to use the fifth episode, because like I said before, there's a lot of coins on the mushrooms down there for that one. We won't be going into the secret area, of course, but if we could just run around real quick and try to find all the coins we can, that'd be great. So to start things off, is there anything worth looking at spraying around here? I don't need that, but it doesn't look like it. So I think we're good just to begin with getting some off of these mushrooms. I missed them all. Hold on. There we go, so that's five coins to start us with. And we know the deal with these. They're very difficult, they're very time consuming. We just need to go through and get every single coin we can find and try to be diligent enough not to fall to our doom. Okay, go over this way. And that's already 17 of them. So you can see sometimes you'll find big bursts of coins and then it'll catch up to us later. We won't find as many later on. But hopefully that's not the case. Here. Hopefully we can find plenty of them. It'll be easy peasy. That's what we're all hoping for, right? But there's another five of them waiting for us right here. We got it. And I might as well grab these one-ups while I'm here. Having these extra lives would certainly help. But you can see there's plenty of other opportunities for more coins along some of this under part of the platform. So I certainly want to get to those. I'm trying to find out what's the best way to get to them now. It might be from some other situations, if I'm being honest. Because I can climb up this, get up this way, and maybe with some brave platforming, I can get to here, and there's at least one big row of coins waiting for me. How do I wanna do this? I think, no, not like that. Gosh darn. Okay, but I, you can see the idea I was trying to get to there, so I'll try again and hopefully this time we'll get it. Okay, there we go. And now that I'm on here, I should be able to hit this thing. There you go. And then we need to jump up real quick because that thing's eventually gonna fall. And this is where I don't really know too much about where we should be going next. Cause it looks like to me, oh no, I may have made a mistake here. I think I can land on the screen one. No, you can't. That's so deceiving, but that'll be 50 coins already. So I think I should go through all that and then make my way back up so that we can do some other stuff on the top side of the village. But we'll get the idea now. We're slowly getting through it. Okay, so I got through all of that. I just landed right back up here. So now we can explore the rest of this in hopefully relative safety and get the remainder 50 coins somewhere out here, I would hope. Okay, these guys are never fun. I don't think there's any way to get rid of them, so we're just gonna ignore that. But we do have some pokies and stuff, which sometimes will turn into coins like that, so that's always good. And I wonder if it'd be better if I did something like that. I don't know if that gives me more coins or anything. But hey, just one coin at a time can still be a difference maker at some points. So watering that won't do too much, but we already know our lesson from previous levels that we should water everything because you never know where a coin might pop up. So we're not gonna be focusing on going to the underside just quite yet. 
No, can I land on you? Not that time. Come on. Gotcha. There's another. So we're already at the 53. And this is where I might be a little bit more slow going. Until we sort of figure out exactly what's happening, where we can go, where we can find stuff. But just finding a couple coins along the way, that's still a huge difference maker. So I'll gladly take it. And lots of ways to get down that way. Um, I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. Let's see. I know we have all the fruit up here. Which, what if we sent all the fruit flying down with that? Maybe get us an extra coin or something? No. Sometimes just doing little random tasks can end up getting us something. Like, what about all these butterflies? Nothing. Here's a good chance to scout some things out, though. Where can we find some more coins? I might see one off in the distance over there. I don't know what that yellow thing is. But honestly, I'm not seeing too many coins. I know that those crates over there will have some, right? Also, not too much water in this area. Maybe there's some in the river to the side. Okay, that didn't have any. Will any of these crates have coins for us? No. So we had a great start with the first five, but where are we getting the rest of them? Maybe this level won't have enough. That would be concerning because I've spent so much time and energy here, but we'll keep looking for now. No need, no need to give up just yet. Not there. Oh, so what I was seeing there were some yellow mushrooms. None of these are giving coins. That's crazy. I mean, maybe they just didn't make any of this top part give coins because you're supposed to go to the Pianta area? That would be ridiculous though, right? I know, the, 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 the Chuck guy area. Because none of these are giving coins anymore. So I'm starting to think that maybe this isn't the best way to get it. That we'll have to find some other option. Because these aren't giving me any coins at all. Whoa, okay, hold on. Poor Yoshi, wait, wait, get that coin. So I was able to eat a bee, and that got... Uh, how do I get more of them? Come on, eat it up. I was able to eat a bee and that got us a coin, so maybe I could really anger the hive, just like that. Will more of them come out? Maybe if we keep spraying it? Whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Okay, now we really gotta get the eaten. Gobble them up. I'm sorry, Yoshi. No, no, no. Oh gosh, they're they're feisty too, so need to be quick about it. Grab it. Come on, there's one. We're at the 61 already. <laughs> this might be the way to do it then. Oh man. Got it. And can we just eat all these guys? It really seems like we can. Yeah, we can just eat every single bee and every single one of them is gonna get us a coin. That's crazy. So that jumps us up a huge amount, and there is another beehive, oh gosh, didn't mean to do that, uh, that I'm aware of. Some are, don't want that one. Okay, good to know though, interesting. See, so yeah, back on this side, I know of at least one more beehive behind that one big tree, so we'll go mess with that one. Go bother the swarm a little bit, right? And hopefully that gets us something good. See, so yeah, it was right over here, I'm going to, Try to gobble up those coins real quick. Oh no, my Yoshi, stop, please. Got it. And then, can we get you? <laughs> you are tricky, there you go. So now I should be able to juice this up. I gotta be careful because Yoshi is running out of, out of energy. Okay, that's gonna go down. They should all chase me over this way and this is where we just go crazy with it. We gotta grab him quick, gotta grab him quick. Quick, come on, there you go. We're at 81. I think that there's 19 bees here. Okay. I'm sorry, Yoshi. How's he doing? He's running a little low on juice. Oh my gosh, but the coins galore. Come on, no, 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 no. That's not fair. What was that? Okay, come on, just eat him up. Got it. Nine more. Ah, oh, it's so silly because I'm pressing the button and then that makes Mario dive. Okay, come on. There's two more, three more, three more. No, oh, it's so ridiculous. Don't go away. Come on, ready? One and two. There we go. So the bees help us out with the 100 coins. That was unbelievable. And it's way up there. 
So let's go and grab that real quick. And we got it. So our 100 coin shine for Pianta Village. So that is the last main stage in Super Mario Sunshine. I think at this point, the only shines we need left to get are going to be in Delfino Plaza itself and for getting all the blue coins in each of the stages. So we still have a whole bundle of work set out in front of us. So don't worry, we're not quite done anytime soon. Uh, so that's gonna take a lot of work before we can even get close to the end of the game. We have so much more left to do. So stay tuned, there's plenty more coming because I think there are 120 shines in this game. And as you can see, we only have, oh, wrong button, 78 of them so far. So you can see that even though we take a look at the totals, it looks like we have every shine in every level. Not quite. We have a lot more left ahead of us, so stay tuned for all that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Sunshine on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.